Oh, this piece of trash. <laughs> this movie is The Crow, the remake, the reimagining, the re it's the reboot. Uh the fifth version of the crow we're getting. Yeah. Fifth? No, is it five? Yeah. It's the fifth mm-hmm. one. You gotta always remember there was the, the Brandon Lee one, which is the best one. Then there is the City of Angels. Then mm-hmm. there is Salvation. Then there's Wicked Prayer. Oh, and now please. there's this movie. Oh. I'd rather watch the movie with Edward Furlong, <laughs> Furlong than, yeah. than this movie. I'd rather watch that you, one. You mean where 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 the big heavy is uh is David Boring Anus? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, start, start, bro. That was no, it's weird because because that's Angel. Yeah, and yeah, uh, I mean, this movie number one. This movie took what almost seven years. No, they started oh. developing this one in two thousand eight. The this movie, is that the, the Jason bro, Momoa one? The, the, well, no. So before, it wasn't it supposed to be Bradley Cooper? Then it was supposed to be um, Luke uh, Evans. Luke Evans, there was uh, Jack Houston. I think uh, there was so many people that were going to be the crow. The uh, carrots, um... Loki, Loki, Loki too. Like a bunch of different people. There's a bunch of different iterations. They even went so far as to do test footage with Jason Momoa, that looked like the Brandon Lee crow, right? He like they gave him like the Brandon Lee like treatment with the with the face paint and everything. Which, which I think, I he mean, what like, like looked like that bad. Sting. He did look like the wrestler Sting. Though. He dropped out of that because uh, the rewrites. They kept trying to make it a remake, and he didn't want to do a remake. No, because it, there's not all. Yeah. There's not just one crow. That's the thing. There's, the crow isn't always just Eric Draven. They've already told the Eric Draven story, and they told it with four other with th- with three other sequels after the after that. the The City of Angels was the same story as Eric Draven. Right. But it wasn't Eric Draven. It wasn't Eric Draven, but it was the same exact story. It was the, some, some, some weird Mexican dude. Was uh yeah, I don't was yeah, whatever. Juan. There was yeah Juan, Juan Camane, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that guy. Mm-hmm. So Juan Camane, bailo tango, más cuchicle, pego duro, tengo viejas de montón. <laughs> there was, was that guy. So no, they told that story. They told that story three other times. The same story was told in Wicked Prayer. The same thing with the Edward Furlong. The same exact story. Yeah. Be- because uh, you know, because you know, love is is stupid. That's what it is. Love, love is stupid. It always has the same. It's always basically the same thing. And and so it took it took so it took since two thousand eight to finally get this one made, and you get uh what did, what did the rupert sanders do did he didn't he do that snow white movie with uh didn't he cheat on his wife with with uh with what's her face with uh, what's her name? Kristen stewart Kristen stewart yeah huntsman the huntsman yes yeah, Snow White and the huntsman that's that's the whole thing um but this he, was he, uh, chris Hemsworth. He, he, this is the this, same director right same director it's the same yeah. director this director then the i like I, I, I like that's cars guard yeah he cheated. He cheated on his girlfriend with Skarsgård this time. Um, <laughs> and he does the weird eye thing. Uh. Yeah, he was like, just look, just look at me, keep eye contact, but in that weird eye con- and like those weird yeah. eye things. Uh, but we get, we get <laughs> Bill Skarsgård with their eyes open. Even, even Alexander Skarsgård at one point was going to be the crow. There was just too many people that were going to do. It. It's yeah. the problem is, is that this movie. So you don't. A bro- it. That's a broody crow if you think about it. The, so. pro- the, pro- the big problem is, is that you. You should not be remaking this same story. Even in the crow graphic novels, there's different crows. There's different people with different stories. There's even there's a female reasons. crow. Yeah, there's different reasons why there's why they're why they're the crow. There's no re- no necessity to keep telling the Eric Draven story. And by the way, yeah. I don't ever remember in this movie that they ever mentioned his last name is Draven. They just they say Eric. Not. They do not. It's Eric and Shelley. They never give Draven the last name. And that's iconic because Eric Draven I mean, is. Brandon you know, Lee you know, is Eric Draven. You know that all these movies have been there's uh it's always a male crow. Okay, right? Uh it, but in the in, in the graphic in the novels and stuff like that, there is a female crow. Yeah, you mentioned but, that. Okay, but it's just <laughs> it, it 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 these these movies are just proof that you know uh men are stupid. But this movie proves that everyone's <laughs> stupid. It's the power of pussy. No, no, no. <laughs> 
no, but this this movie proves it. Look, the, the thing that un, the un in the original Crow in the '94 Crow, mm. I, you felt the relationship between Eric and Shelley, and you they didn't even have to show it on screen. I felt like you can feel like how much his like, pain, his pain when she dies. Like, you feel all of that in that movie without having to tell the story and having to build a long relationship. I felt that was more realistic than this relationship. She, this relationship, felt, she felt a little bit of that fun boy too. And this, and in this movie, it did it. Ugh, it just, and they were I so boring, really both of them. Oh Who God. cares about their for love a, story for an hour and a half? Yeah, for an hour and fifteen. This movie was like over, oh, like it's almost two hours long. Yeah, almost two like hours. almost an hour and forty minutes. For an hour, for an hour, in an hour, for an hour and fifteen, it takes an hour and fifteen minutes for him to actually die and become the pro <laughs> yeah. and do all this stuff. <laughs> you get like ten wow. minutes into the original. He's already the crow. He's already he's already died and he's already yeah. coming back from the dead and and you feel more for his loss than you do in yeah. this one. In this and movie, and and the, the the original crow was much better and it wasn't even finished. Finished. Like and they they spent <laughs> they spent all these years to fine tune this this script to make this movie. This movie is just I I'll go out, I'll go out and say it. I know that there's there's violence and everything in the comic book. Mm. I didn't feel like there was a necessity in this one. Was there graphic gore in the 94 one? No. And in, the action was great. This action, mine, there's only two action sequences, I think, right? There's only two. Yeah, t- only two action sequences. The opera scene. You, the opera scene and then when he's in the room. When he's in that, when he's in the room with the dudes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dudes, oh, that's wh- it. When his friend gets shot in the face. Yeah. yeah and the, right in the eye. Right, yeah, they, and they just sit there afterwards, you know, going, <laughs> and he's and then, yeah, like nothing, and then he's smoking he a cigarette. Joint. That's this movie, just you know. like I don't care about them being in rehab. That was a stupid smoking thing, in the story. that was really <laughs> dumb. Like uh, the supernatural element of, of, of um, the bad I guy, felt, the bad guy, I felt like yeah. uh, that was dumb. That was another stupid thing, yeah, true. Uh, it's just this movie just did not work on every level. I was watching it in theaters, and people were leaving. The people left the theater, like I never came back. And within thirty minutes of the movie, all I know I, is that in this movie, I, I felt like a small fucking worm on a big fucking hook. And, <laughs> and no, but see, it's it's a th- the thing about this is I'll, I'll give credit to Skarsgård. I he's fine. He's a fine actor. Just didn't, and I I see why they couldn't go with anyone buff or bulky to be Eric Draven. I get it. Uh, yeah, that's usually uh, a mistake, by the way. It just this 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 they could have done the crow in a different manner, different telling a different story of a different crow, not ne- not trying to to redo the Eric Draven one. It's like you know? if it's like imagining if like uh like El Mariachi was a big buff mariachi. You it just it doesn't fit. You know, you want to. It just it doesn't have that that grit to it, so you, yeah. you don't really get that feel. No, I, I get it, but you could have told it that my my point is that you could have told a different story of the crow. <laughs> yeah. Like you didn't and, have to change it. And uh, go ahead. And I agree. I mean, it, with what they were given, they did a good job. I mean, Skarsgård did good. The girl was all right, but yeah. the Houston was was really good. But it was just a stupid story. Stupid story. He, well, I mean, and, he was, really and, he was, and he was only in the movie. Danny Houston was only in the movie. I think only fifteen minutes tops. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all you, you give the the bad guy. Uh, you spent. They spent more time in that opera action scene, which they spoiled. By the way, there was nothing in this movie, no action sequence or anything that wasn't spoiled by the trailers. You None know, of it. You know about that. Uh, but opera scene is that they. There's a big old gun battle. No suppressors, nothing. There's an opera going on. Everyone can hear it. No one's freaking out. Yeah, it's because like, the opera, the opera's in Dolby. <laughs> <laughs> it's styling ones, so they're all wearing headphones. Right? Mm. Yeah, uh, but I, 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 who doesn't? Who I don't know. I hear gunshots. I'm leaving. And I think this. I, <laughs> I think the thing that took it over the top for me by the end for me i just hate this movie i just do not like it i i wish i this movie cannot be out of theaters and back in the dump they've they've destroyed some they've never released movie they released this movie but didn't release that coyote acme movie that i would have rather watched true right uh no 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 they released this movie and we didn't get to watch batgirl 
I don't know about Batgirl. I, don't I mean, know. <laughs> but I think it, I would have. I, I would have. I, I, I would have enjoyed as good as Black Adam. You shut your mouth. I would have enjoyed the Coyote movie. No, but what I'm saying is that even the ending, this ending, oh, so anticlimactic, and it's so stupid. Like yeah. the whole point, like in the original Crow, the reason why he's avenging her death, but he eventually is going to meet up with her again in the afterlife. That's the whole point. He's going to avenge her death. He's setting everything right before he can go back to be with her. Now, in this movie, he goes and he's like, "Okay." They tell him, "Your love is what's gonna. Your love is what is what's gonna keep you alive. It's it's what's gonna give you your power. The moment you doubt your love, you start losing your power. Then he decides, take her life for mine, which also the ending alludes to there could be sequels. That's dumb. It makes no sense no because. He he literally gave his life or his soul so she could be revived, which goes against everything for the crew. The whole point of the like of their grave story is that he's avenging, her, the, you know, those who wronged, those who killed him and Shelly, and to meet up to so that they can get back to so they can meet up again in the afterlife. That's that was so, that was a better the way of telling it in the original. And this one, it just they made it superhero-y and. It just didn't work. It didn't work. So if you notice in the in the, in the Brandon Lee one and you know almost any, any other one, he only goes after the ones who met, who wronged them and the one who led them to wronging them. Mm -hmm. uh, and the only time in the Brandon Lee one with the the gun battle that they had before mm -hmm. before he even killed anybody else, he gave everybody a choice to leave. Mm -hmm. so I just want that one. And mm -hmm. he's like, they're like, nah, we're all gonna shoot you. All right, all right. I told you. Mm -hmm. You know, in it's this one, in, in, this, in this one, he just kills people. D doesn't give him an option. Just runs in. I don't like this trailer. Everybody. Yeah. I I don't think I don't like I don't, I don't, I don't I'll, again, I just don't like this movie. I think this was this is a waste of a I movie. Mean, I, I think this was, this was an, this was an Eric Foreman. That wasn't Eric Draven. This this they it, it doesn't count as Draven. This they yeah. never gave Draven. They just said Eric. Yeah, I'm. I would have preferred Toe for Grace. Maybe it might have been a better movie. I don't know. Who never? Who knows? Uh, just overall, like the way that they told the story, the way that they delayed getting into any of the crow actual crow stuff. Uh, just it was it was a waste of them. It was really just a waste of a movie. It was a waste of the of the crow I, I retelling. Hate it. The crow. I hated how he went, kept going back to that purgatory part. Mm. He's like, "What am I doing wrong? I'm stupid." What's wrong? And then, Everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he'd go back, and then he'd have no more scars. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's like, scars like, oh. scarred. <laughs> he, so <laughs> when he, when he yeah, first when he, when he first when he first goes back he with scars when he first goes back and he kills the guy in, and he shoots the guy in the car because the guy reaches for a gun. Mm -hmm. Then he goes after the the lady and the dude in the in in the other car it's in the freeway. Resisting. He comes out. He comes out of the car, and when he heals up, he has scars on his face. He has scars from all the uh, like. And he comes back. He wakes up in the same spot, but now he doesn't have the scars anymore. There was no consistency. There uh, was no consistency. in the in the scene where he kills the guys when he when he wakes up in the bathtub and he mm -hmm. kills all the dudes. He's full of blood because he's bludgeoning the guy with the shotgun. Mm -hmm. And then he sits down to have his joint and, he has a, and he's clean. Uh -huh. There's no blood. I'm telling you, there's no consistency in this movie the at blood? all. No consistency. Like, none of it. None of it. And <laughs> they, shot, just, they shot different scenes at uh, different moments. Mm -hmm. It's just a, it's just a poor it's a poorly it's a poorly made movie. It's a poorly made movie. It, they took a lot. They took a long time. They could have taken the time and made this right. They lost so many distributors to originally release this movie. They, they nobody they wanted this, they, but it still got it, distributed it, into it, theaters. When the they, movie starts, there's like ten companies involved in it. Yeah, there's no, there was no. That's the thing. There was no need I, for. I think there was a food for less in there too at some point. I don't know. <laughs> Kroger sponsored by Kroger. Uh, no, see, there was no, there was no need to re remake the Eric. Dra you could redo a Crow movie. I, I'll say you can do a Crow movie. Just does not have to be Eric Draven. Eric, They've yeah. already told that Eric Draven story. You don't need to tell the Eric Draven story. <laughs> you you're, you're Edward actually, Furlong now. <laughs> you're actually you're actually diminishing the original movie by by releasing this movie. No, you're, you're just the you're just enhancing the greatness of the original. 
No, because now you... any but anyone who hasn't seen the original crow, they're like, Oh, why would I want to watch that one? If this one and they go see this one, they're like, Oh, this was crap. So the other one's probably gonna be crap. It's a classic. No, that for sure. That one, that one's a not, it's a, ever it's a legacy movie. movie. It's a legacy movie. That's a legacy movie. Yeah. Like it was even released in the theaters recently mm-hmm. to rewatch. Bro, bro, he died oh, for that movie. He died. That, for that that, movie. And that and that movie That's that movie that movie changed gun gun pro- protocols in movies. Like on set, that that yeah. movie, this movie, not only you know was Brandon Lee's final performance, but everybody, it, it's changed a, like it, Doug it changed, it changed a lot of things. Uh, but I, I just this this new crow I cannot stand behind. It's just a bad movie overall. Yeah, don't watch from it. beginning from it's, beginning. It's end, yeah, do not go. Just don't don't waste your money. Don't it's waste your money. People. Yeah, just don't waste your money. This is a movie I won't even tell you to go see it. If make up your mind. I wouldn't don't even like it. It happened. It's, I yeah. don't even want anybody to watch a bootleg of it. That's how look, bad it is. Look, it was so bad that the move the the reviews were not allowed to be released. For like the agreement <laughs> until after the movie came out in theaters, it's so bad they only they're only showing it one time a day in the theater where I'm at. See, that's one how, that's how that time a day. The midnight show. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Rocky Horror slot. They give it the Rocky Horror slot. Uh, yeah, on uh, you know, Skarsgård, okay, Danny Houston, okay, story bad, just hor, and it's too it's too polished. Too it's and it's too, it's too long and it's too polished. It looks too clean. It it I don't li- I didn't like the it's look of the dark. Movie. It's yeah, I, I, I told you about oh. that. It had, had had no grit to it. No, no. It didn't. It didn't feel like like it was a. Uh, it has nothing to do with the comic book. And you know what? Another the thing about the, the original, and the original Crow, the music was great. This one, yes. the music sucks. Yep. The music is horrible. Like it's like it moves, just, it doesn't it, match. I mean, I, I think at one point I heard you know a Spotify commercial. I don't, I don't know what it, what it was. It's, it's, it's display. So it's, <laughs> they didn't even bother to pay. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> they, they went through YouTube music with commercials. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah no, it was bad. It was bad. Like because mm-hmm. that album, that album for the original Crow had so many great songs. Yeah, this one, I. Nothing, nothing in this movie. It, it didn't match the tone. The music didn't match the tone. Nothing, nothing. Just I'll tell you, nothing worked in this movie. Nothing. Period. Yeah, Zero. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna st- get stabbed in the face with soldering iron. I'm just saying this. Nothing. That's how bad nothing it is. <laughs> On that note, don't go watch it's the crow. The don't yeah. go watch the crow. Don't go watch the crow. It's a trash movie. It's horrible. I hate it. Watch the '94 crow. Way better movie. Would Bleach you rather? Wait, 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 wait. Before we go. This or Borderlands? I'm out. (laughs) This has been Vinny. This is Ozzy. We'll see you guys next time.